I don't know why I got to do that. I just do. That gets me ready for my videos, you know. Hypes them up. Yeah, that's the power, right? Pork. Peppered pork today. Peppered pork. If you want to raise your heat level, use serrano peppers or jalapeno peppers. Here's what you need. I'm going to use hatch peppers. They're in the stores right now, so and I like them. And they're not overly hot, but they're hot enough. And they're, and they're real tasty. You need peppers. You need some onions. What else do we need? You're going to need a little bit of ginger and soy sauce. That's really all you need right there. And pork, of course. Just get any kind of pork, chop it up into little sliced pieces and all that. Of course, I'm going to dress mine up. I'm going to add some other things, so let me show you what I'm going to add. Got your pork, got your peppers. This is bok choy. I'm adding that for a little bit of crunch. Add some leftover mushrooms. Of course, they're going in there because they're interesting. Got this ginger root. And I'm just going to use like a little square of that ginger root. Not much, just a little bit. Got onion, green onion. You don't have to use green onion, you use regular old onion. Doesn't matter. But I'm going to be seasoning today with my feral wasabi straight onto the pork. Right here, I mixed it with the soy sauce. Got to have the soy sauce. I mixed it. It has a real nice flavor to it. This has some kick. It's wasabi. Real wasabi, not horseradish. Wasabi and curry. So it's got a flavor. It's, it's good stuff. Now, if you ain't using this, you use zombie dust straight on that pork and that'll definitely kick it up because it's bikinis. Let me cut this stuff up and I'll show you how to do this. It's only about a three minute cook. Ginger's first one up. A lot of guys peel this. I'm not peeling it. It does make it a little hotter if you leave the skin on it. And I like ginger, but it's got to be in this. It, it gives it a twang that everybody needs. Just leave the pieces big. If somebody doesn't like ginger, they can pick it out. But they probably won't complain. That's actually quite a bit, but like I said, I like it. Mushrooms. Leave them big and nasty like that. A lot of people got an issue with mushrooms too. I don't know what the deal is. Like I said, you can use onions or green onions. I'm just using green onions because that's what I have. Simple enough right there. Bok choy. I'm actually going to keep this separate because I want it crunchy. So I'm going to drop it in right at the very end. for the peppers. Just cut them into rings and I am leaving the seeds in there. I'll help with the heat factor. I'm going to be lazy. Now, it's kind of a shame cutting up perfectly good pork chops, but that's what I had. So that's what I'm using. Cutting them at an angle and cutting them kind of thin, about a quarter inch thick. And if I could see, I'd be going across the grain, which I probably am. Something like that. Now, something about the pork. Pork chops are basically pretty lean. They got a little bit of fat on them. But if you can find some scraps with a lot of fat on them, cardio diet all the way. That's what you want. You want that fat in there and little pieces of meat. That's where you want to rock, rock with this. Okay, you want the fat. Cardio diet. But... I only had pork chops, so that's what I used. But I didn't trim any fat off of it. You can guarantee that. Okay, got the pork. We're going to put it in this bowl. We're going to do a little marinara and air on it. We're going to marinate it, sort of. Going to season it up, mix it up. Like I said, I'm using my feral wasabi. Could have used my zombie dust. I used my zombie dust actually yesterday. This stuff's real good on seafood. Extremely good on shrimp. As you can tell, I'm really mixing it in, giving it a lot more. I should do it. Now I'm going to take this and add it in, because this is what I mixed earlier, just to taste it, make sure it was going to jive. And add a little soy to that. Alright, y'all, I got a cast iron wok. I've preheated it. Only thing I can say is you want, when you're stir frying, you want that thing hot. 
I mean extremely hot. You put in your oil, you throw in your meat, you mix it around, it's going to splatter everywhere. But it, you need to be cooking that meat and then the vegetables just for a couple of minutes each. I mean just bam, 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 bam. I mean hot. Can't stress that enough. If it's sitting there bubbling in its own juices and stuff, you're going to have a soggy mess. Just saying. Okay, I'm going to add a little oil here. And then I'm going to throw in a couple of pieces of my ginger. So that the flavor comes out of that ginger into that oil. Like I said, I like the ginger. You don't have to do this, but that's just how I'm rolling today. Okay, my ginger, my oil is smoking, and my ginger's frying actually. So I think we can add some pork. As you can see, the bottom of my wok is pretty dry. You can see that? That's what you want. You don't want it soaking in a bunch of juices. That meat's done. Nice couple of little tidbits in here for me. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Alright. I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit. I'm going to add a little more oil. And we are going to dump in these peppers. The onion. Ginger. Got a soy. <coughs> Whoa, it's <you're> hot. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> woo, woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Fire, fire. Okay, these have been in there about a minute. I'm mixing them around. That's good enough. And add the mushrooms. Like I said, my heat's pretty darn high. <laughs> Give it a little more soy. Oh, wow! Woo! It's going to be a hot, <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> Give it a little shot of that right there. <clears throat> Woo! Bok choy. <laughs> Mix that around. One quick shot of this. That's going to give it all its color. <clears throat> Pour it back in. <clears throat> give it a mix. Turn off your heat. <laughs> That's only took a couple of minutes, y'all. This is done. Get you some rice. Put it in a bowl. Get you a nice... spoonful there. I'm going to get dig me around get me a piece of ginger out of there somewhere. Now that is pretty darn good if you ask me. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the wok strictly because it'll keep cooking because of the heat. Well y'all, you've seen how fast, easy, and cheap this is. You can do the same thing with chicken, you can do it with beef, I mean venison, it really doesn't matter. So let's do a quick taste test. I know you guys just love watching me eat. You see how tender that is? Drop some stuff on the floor. Oh, it's got some good flavor. Now those peppers, man, they were off gassing when I was cooking them. So I got a feeling I had some Anaheim peppers in there, so instead of being at hatch peppers, they might have been those Anaheims. Which definitely got more of a kick, so. Or maybe those hatches were just kicking today. I don't know. Yeah, they're hatch peppers, but they got some kick. Woo! Yeah, they got some kick. But you can look at that. Like I said, you can throw this on 
go to any Chinese joint around my house, I throw this on there, tell them it's General Chow spicy pork. And uh, your average white bread ain't gonna know the difference. Seriously, y'all, give that a try. You'll love it. Wow, it's tasty. <sighs> kind of glad it didn't go with the zombie. Wow, it's gonna make you sweat. Put a little bead to sweat on your forehead. Hope you like it like that. And like I said, if you really want to kick it up, use Serrano's. But you're gonna have to be a real man to do that. Mm. Gonna go eat my lunch. One thing when you do that quick stir fry, watch this. See, this stuff just pulls apart. The pork just 